This is Justin from Capsule, and we're going to talk about silver linings. Silver Linings is a song about people who just have no problem speaking their mind, even when it's hurtful or unnecessary, um, and just people who just don't think about, you know, people who are on the receiving end of what they need to say. Uh, and it's about wishing to live in a world where you could live unaffected by the words that people say and everything's happy and everything's perfect, um, almost like a dream sort of world. Um, well, that's kind of captured in the chorus of the song. So Silver Linings is probably the heaviest song on the album, um, at least right up there with Living the Dream. Very metalcore influenced. Uh, you can definitely feel some influence from like early Avenged Sevenfold, uh, Bold for My Valentine, Trivium, uh, any of those sorts of bands in there. Uh, and it started with that lead guitar riff, uh, that, that main guitar riff that you hear. Um, and the song was pretty much just built off of that, just knowing I wanted to make a heavy, angry sounding song with, with dueling guitars. Uh, some breakdown aspects, um, yeah, guitar solos, drum solo, just wanting it to be as big and heavy as I can make it. Favorite lyrics on Silver Linings are probably in the chorus, just that first line where it goes, take me somewhere made of silver linings where the flowers bloom on golden streets. I think it's just such uh, just has such beautiful imagery with it, and again, it's kind of just like the total opposite of the verses where they're, they're super heavy and, and dark sounding, and then you are taken into this world where you're imagining it just being so beautiful and perfect. I think that those, those words really capture that, that thinking. for Silver Linings. Uh, there were quite a few. Um, first magic moment, I feel like, is maybe a little bit more obvious, just that just that main riff. Um, I was so happy when I came up with that. Um, and it's one I think flows super nicely, kind of has some groove to it, but it's also heavy at the same time. Uh, and it's really fun to play, super fun riff to play. next magic moment that comes to mind is just the chorus itself, um, both in the writing and, uh, you know, from the studio and production side of things. Once I was able to hear it come out of there, I was, I was just so happy with, with how different this chorus sounded from all the other songs on the album. It's, it's really catchy, but super up-tempo um, with, with the snare and bass going really quickly and then from that first half to the second half, you get the double bass coming in where it just feels even bigger and faster. So like the music sounds heavy, but the words are still somehow catchy and, and singable. Another magic moment that comes to mind is the final chorus in the song. Uh, this is an extended chorus that drops to halftime and it introduces some chime hits and some sleigh bells and I think it just sounds really, really big um, and I just, again, love when a final chorus in a song is able to offer something a little bit different and I think this one captures something really unique and still kind of hard hitting. favorite magic moment that I would mention would just be the outro of the song where it brings back that initial riff but it comes back like slower and sloppier. Um, definitely like some Pantera sort of influence on that too. Um, it just kind of just kind of goes on and on and, and, and fades out but then brings in some electric guitar leads on top of it to do it a little bit of soloing. Um, I'm just really happy with the way that turned out.